Welcome to Today's Issues, a community service program informing you of the issues and events in the four state area. Now, here are the issues for today on KNEO 91.7 FM. Good morning. This is Luke Taylor with a Capitol Report update. State Representative Lane Roberts is with us today to talk about the budget as well as the necessity of initiative petition reform. Hi, this is Lane Roberts from House District 161. So last week was a really big week uh, in the House, but the two standout items that everybody's talking about are the budget uh, and initiative petition reform. So from the budget perspective, uh, we have had uh, Cody Smith, uh, the representative from Carthage, who's been our budget chair for six years, and he has steadfastly uh, declined to spend everything we've got just because we have it. Uh, I, I appreciate his approach to budgeting. Uh, he always tries to maintain a healthy surplus. We have done that in this budget. Uh, this budget is actually uh, over a billion dollars less than what the governor recommended. Nonetheless, uh, it allows for $727.5 million to rebuild that the I-44 quarter, another $100 million for rural roads, $43 million for additional road improvement projects, and $16 million for port infrastructure projects, and all the while maintaining the $1 billion surplus. Uh, this is smart budgeting and the kind of thing most of us would do in our own homes. The other thing that I think is the biggest issue is initiative petition reform. And there's been a lot of talk about this and, and some, uh, some savvy, some real distortions. Uh, there are some provisions in the, the piece passed by the House that make sure that voters know that folks outside uh, of our borders are not ones who are contributing and, and driving the initiative petition as has happened in the past, uh, and that only citizens are the ones who are voting. There have been those who, who refer to that as ballot candy. It is not ballot candy. It, it, it's, in fact, uh, an opportunity to make sure voters know this is what the law will be and reassure them uh, that the, the initiative petition process uh, is secure uh, and that people aren't influencing it appropriately. So the initiative petition reform uh, requires two things. One is uh, it requires that we have a majority, obviously, but the other is uh, it requires that we have a majority uh, in five of the eight uh, uh, congressional districts. This is not unlike the Electoral College, where it prevents places like New York and California from dictating the rest of us. This approach to initiative petition reform ensures that when we change our Constitution, it's not done just by St. Louis and Kansas City, but that every corner of the state has repetition or representation. Uh, I think is an important step. It will now go to the Senate. Uh, my hope is that uh, they will have the courage to stand behind this uh, and that we'll get some meaningful uh, uh, initiative petition reform. 161st District State Representative Lane Roberts can be reached at his Jefferson City office at 573-751-3791. And we'll also mention that we're making the Capitol Report update available as a podcast now. Find it wherever you get your podcasts and get each day's update from our local legislators by searching for KNEO Capitol Report. This has been today's issues. For more information about the issues you've just heard, call 417-451-5636. Today's issues is presented as a public service of KNEO 91.7 FM, a sky-high radio network.